Hi guys, I just wanted to talk about my motivations recently. So, um, starting from late 2017, I obviously focused on Melee a lot that year. Um, doing good in tournaments and uh, streaming and whatnot. Um, I think at some point during the last few months of the year, I switched my focus from uh, Melee tournaments. Like, I still went to the tournaments, but my focus was no longer that. My focus was writing my book, starting the latter few, the later few months of 2017. It'll probably be like that for the next several months as well, because there's a lot of stuff I have to do in terms of like, okay, I still have to reread it, and then editor goes through it, and then add all the stuff, and then I have to decide what should I include, what should I not, how to reword things. There's, there's a lot of stuff to make it like as perfect as possible, because it's like there's no small thing. So I've, I've been actually focusing on that for the past like since like I don't know GTX of last year. So it's been quite some time since that was since melee was my main focus. My results have dropped a bit since then, um, ex expectingly, but uh, I do believe it's because of a shift in focus. But I did want to mention that a lot of the turns I've been going to since like GTX till now, I would say that not all of them, but the majority of them is either because like a my fans want me to, and I don't want to like let them down, or like maybe I don't want to let my teammate down. Like if I'm teaming with Plop or something, like I, I want to make sure that like we're, we're good for dubs and stuff. Or, just because I had already told the TOs at some point where we made some arrangement or agreement to go. So I was obligated to go to like certain events already. Um, like there was many of them that I was like already obligated to go to. But it was not really my focus. Um, my focus lately has just been trying to perfect my book. And the other thing, uh, in the past two months or a few months especially, since the E3 announcement of Smash 5, that's, besides the book, that's been the other thing that's really been on my mind. I'm actually surprised I was able to like randomly win Summit out of nowhere when my focus like wasn't that. Like, I find that super random. Like, I was I used Marf like a few friendlies total within the first three days combined. It's super random. I reviewed my set for Armada once or twice only, and then I guess it was enough. And then I was able to, I was just able to play good and just use like that character. It was totally unexpected and random. But I wasn't at. But for most of these turns, even especially through this year, I haven't really been like studying or preparing for opponents for the exception of Armada before Summit specifically. Um, not nearly as much as I did in like 2017 for the first like the majority of 2017 for example. The first half of 2017 where I was I was more prepared for like I was studying opponents a bit more and by studying I mean like not even that much like I look over a set three times instead of zero times or one time. A lot of the sets this year like I haven't even looked at my set with plot like oh, oh even more than I think I haven't even seen them all once <laughs> I think some of them I have so a lot most of my sets even with like axe and shoot at and pluff and a lot of other people I don't even think I've seen the sets a single time at most I've seen these things once I just haven't been motivated to like study or do a lot of this stuff I know I should be but like the reality that I wanted to I'm th explaining this for my fan base mainly so that, that you know they can know what's going on my mind has mostly been focused number one on the book and number two ever since the E3 announced for Smash 5. I kind of want like, I know I'm better at melee and stuff, but sometimes you just want to switch it up and do something different just for the sake of it being different. Like I look at it as like a new adventure. I've always been the type of guy that like, yeah, even though I like certain games more than others, like for example, let's say I like melee more than another Smash game, I still like playing them all. I've always kind of been that type of guy. And I also want to get more involved with YouTube, I want to get more involved with streaming, I want to get more involved with like my book, growing my company, and a bunch of other stuff. Playing the Nintendo, the new Nintendo games I'll get. The way I see it, I don't really ha have like a time limit with Melee, because I don't, in my personal opinion, I don't see Melee going anywhere anytime soon. Because of that, I don't feel like it's as much of a time limit. However, with the book and Smash 5, I feel like those are more opportunities, I feel like they're more time sensitive than melee because I feel like turns are just gonna go forever. I don't see that stuff stopping for like at least another 10 years so it's because of the way I think of it I don't feel like melee is going anywhere whereas I feel like the book is more time sensitive and I feel like Smash 5 I don't want to lose the opportunity like Zero told me in the past like I should focus on YouTube more especially with Smash 4 coming out and I was dumb and I didn't listen to him and I barely did anything and the video the few videos I did with him got like so many views and like I, I should have just focused on YouTube more like Zero told me, but I was I was in 2014, but I was dumb and I didn't I don't want to make that mistake again. I really want to get involved with the next Smash game. I really want to get involved with my book. 
Uh, I want to expand into other games. I like just goofing around on stream. As much as I am good at com competition, I actually like just goofing around on my stream on random s stages and just random silly stuff. I actually enjoy streaming and doing the silly stuff more than I actually enjoy tournaments. Maybe it's because I'm just... I've been to so many turns. I've probably been to the most turns of anybody. And I've been doing this for like 13 years. I think even on there's some website, like some esports website that even shows like who has the most tournament wins across all esports games. And I think I'm like one and a half times more tournament wins than like the next closest person. Not in prize money, but in tournament wins. That just shows how many turns I've been to. And that's not like something that I really want to like do forever. Like I'll still be around, but it's not like what I'm imagining. Oh, that, that like, it's not what I'm like looking forward to. I'm looking forward to just like playing games, having fun and not having stress and being able to do what I actually want to do. I want to share like my life story, I decide what's important. I want to uh, focus on uh, becoming bigger, just having playing games for fun, making a living, kind of like how Manga makes a living, just streaming, having fun, doing stuff. Like I, I dream of maybe doing stuff like that. That's why I'm, I wish I could get like that level of support. That's why I've been trying to. Sometimes I get discouraged, but that's still a more ideal lifestyle for my own happiness. So I feel like I'd have a easier livelihood if I could just do the things, at least, at least for myself. Like, I know my fans are going to be like, okay, yeah, just go to tournaments because I want to see you at tournaments. I want to see you use Marf. And it's like, okay, but what about what I want? Like, I've done this so many times. And I'm not saying I'm ever going to quit. May or may not. Probably won't. But I'm saying I, I don't really care to do this all the time like people are wanting. It's just not my motivation right now. Um, I'm still going to turns like in a few days I'm going to go to Smash and Splash. But I wasn't even planning to go like a, a week ago I wasn't even planning to go there. It's just that like my fans want me to go and then we made an arrangement and, and a team with Mango and this. But I ended up deciding to go anyway but I feel kind of bad going because if I'm being completely honest I'm not really preparing like I don't have the motivation to study videos I don't really have the motivation to like practice off stream I just want to do what I want to do right now I'm not saying this may or may not be the case forever I'm saying this is how I feel right now and I've actually felt this way throughout almost the entire year even like before Genesis I felt even starting in late 2017 I've been starting to feel that way so I wanted to let people actually know that that's just the reality uh, felt like it's important for me to tell the truth so that's why I made this video for the people who actually do care. <laughs> well, that's all.